Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, February the 24th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course first for Race 3 and their card, 1.21 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's an 8.3 furlong route test. That's a mile and 70 yards, and Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Phillies and mares, four years old and up, racing for an allowance purse is some forty thousand dollars contenders number five smarty bull number four judicial leader number one silver chest and number two mordecai jones number five smarty bull the overall speed and pace profile leader in its allowance field today racing at or about today's distance from mile 70 yards on the dirt has hit the board in five straight starts with his last four outings including back-to-back -back wins in his third and fourth races back also qualifying as power runs. Number four, Judicial Leader, the morning line favorite, has also hit the board in five straight, including four straight power run wins in her last four outings. Jockey Alan Garcia has been in her irons on three previous occasions, winning them all en route to a positive. 387% return on investment in the process is back today for his fourth ride, gunning for a Grand Slam win. Race 3 summary, number 5, Smarty Bull, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 4, Judicial Leader, number 1, Silver Chest, and number 2, Mordecai Jones, 5412 in the third from the Big A. Gulfstream Park, race 6, 3.01 p.m. Eastern Post on mile test on the turf track. Phillies and mares, 3 years old and up, racing for a claiming prize at $29,500. Contenders number 2, Scoodles. Number three, Melody Dawn. Number eight, Desert Witch. And number four, Vitrosoli. Number two, Scoodles, a four to one shot. The overall pace profile leader in this claiming field, racing at the mile distance on the turf, has hit the board in five straight with three of those efforts, including a win in her second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Paco Lopez has been in her arms on two previous occasions, posting a win in a place which produced a positive. 290% return on investment in the process. Lopez is back today for his third ride. Number three, Melody Dawn takes a class drop of 11 units, the speed leader in this field. She's produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in a pair. I did not consider her for my top slot, though. Since she has not raced in nearly a year, 360 16 days ago, to be more precise. Race six summary, number two, Scoodles. Tops the contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number three, Melody Dawn, number eight, Desert Witch, and number four, Vitrosoli, 2384 in the sixth today from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Charlestown in West Virginia, race three, entry number three, La Tica. A 10 to 1 bomb drops in class by 13 units, the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at or about this evening's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Turf Paradise in Arizona, race three at a four to one shot. Number six, Loxley Hall, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at tonight's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. So from the Big A, Aqueduct on a Friday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.